I'm not making excuses already, but <laughs> it's gonna be a hot one today. So 22 now, 26 by 10 o'clock, 30 by 11 o'clock. What a jump. So that's gonna be a really warm one today. But we're in Solly Hall. I'm doing a 10K run. My first ever 10K race. Uh, I'm optimistic to try and get a PB today, but you know, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I'm not really, I'm not really that first. My previous PB was set during the Western Supermare Half Marathon, uh, where on the back nine, on the second half of the race, I just decided to just try and finish really strong because I wanted to negative split that race. Uh, and I finished the, the, well, I got that 10K done in 49.11. So I'm, uh, I, think, I think that's beatable today. Obviously there are certain things, certain factors that might go against me, like the weather. I'm six weeks through training through uh, for a marathon for Amsterdam, having had six weeks off. Uh, so I'm not, don't think I'm in PB shape, but I think this PB is beatable for me today. But anyway, it's not what it's about. It's about just enjoying it, seeing a new part of the world. Uh, and I've parked in a place called Bruton Park, which is, I couldn't even get near the race village because all the roads are closed and it's free parking. So happy days. So we're just uh, making the, the short walk over to the race village for the 10K. I'm not gonna do that much vlogging, I don't think, while I'm running. Uh, I make that mistake too often and I get out of breath. So I'm gonna just show you what I see in front of me rather than talk, talk you through it, I think. I might check in, I might not, I don't know. Anyway, let's see how we do. It's, uh, it's a beautiful day. What a beautiful park, there's not a breath of wind. Condition's not ideal but there are worse problems in the world to have. Come on, what a beautiful day. So let's go and get this 10K done. See how we get on. So we're all just making our way over to the start line now. Um, sub 50 minutes would be nice. I just can't decide whether to go for it or not because it's so warm. I can't. Shall I go for it? Yeah, what's the worst that can happen? Yeah. All right, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. So we're gonna be starting in a, any minute now. Uh, yeah, so good to be back doing a race again. In 10, go. 9, 8, Coming out. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come on, good luck with your 10K, everyone. Thank you. Fantastic work. Cheering out your runners as they come across that start line. You're going to love them, of course. We've got set out for you. Okay, sorry, Hall 10K, we are off. been the hardest third medal I've ever earned. Flipping out. That was solid. So we came in in 49.30, so not a PB, but you know, 19 seconds off. I think in 10 degree weather, I think I might have had that, but 
25, 30 degrees, no chance. There's a lot of shady sections which helped, but there is a 70% of that was in the sun. I'm making excuses. I didn't get a PB, but I'm not gonna lose any sleep. That was hard. I'd say in terms of effort, I found that harder than a half marathon. That was just, that was, yeah, not my favorite, not my favorite distance. Anyway, glad to have added another medal to the collection and I tell you what, I'm so glad I didn't sign up to the half today because that was, that was beyond hard. Let's cool down and let's have a look at the splits. So we're on our way back to the car now and one of my favorite things to do at a race is um, to cheer some of the runners over the line, at least over the last, what was that, kilometer or so, uh, that I just, on my way back to the car, it sort of intercepts the, uh, the last kilometer. So it was really nice to see some of the 10K and the half runners going over the line. So really, it was a really good event, I'll be honest. It was, um, the, the half went off first at nine o'clock, we went off at half past nine. Well organized, I think the majority, it seemed like the majority of people were here. Real nutters, by the way, to do the half marathon. Um, and I think a lot of people actually would have pulled out because of the weather, but I never even considered it, to be honest. But easy for me to say, because it was only half the distance of, you know, it was only a 10K. So I'm really glad that I didn't pull out and, you know, I just got through it. There was one water, there was one water station at about 6K, which was nice. So I had a, a little glug and a, soak myself with the bottle and then um uh yeah we got, we got a free bottle afterwards but um yeah the splits so the 10k splits n i never really ran a regular pace you'll be uh of course you that won't be any surprise to you will it uh of course my first k went off way too fast it was a 425 start which is far too fast but looking at this that it was quite a nice downhill to start uh, and then k's two to ten i was averaging well my, my average pace was 459 i did a my, my slowest kilometer was 523 uh, which was quite a hilly section uh, my quickest k apart from the 425 was a 453 452 so basically that that course is very undulating which in race terms is code for hilly um but yeah, there was never really a plateau section or a flat section for longer than, I don't know, 200 meters or so. It was either up or it was coming down. So uh, that's racing for you though, isn't it? That, that, you know, there's, uh, does, does a perfect race course exist uh, that's on a road? I, I don't think it does. And obviously it was 30 degrees today or close to, but today I just feel like that was really good experience. I can't moan about it because it was just such good experience. It, it, it was hard, it was hot, the heat slowed me down, but I learned a lot about myself today that I learned that I'm capable of running in hot conditions and, you know, it's, it's a case of just, you know, getting your head up instead of down, enjoying it, taking a deep breath when you, when you need to dig in and, and, and really, and just learning to, to just run in whatever conditions you've got because in, when a race comes around, you know, you can't choose the conditions, can you? So you need to be ready to race in any conditions. But that's what happens when you put your name down for a race in August. It could be 30 degrees and today it is. Anyway, that's today's race over and done with. We finished in 49 minutes and 30 seconds, which I'm really pleased with to get under 50. It's not a PB because my PB was 49.11. So goodness knows how I managed a 49.11 during a half marathon. Uh, so today was a really good training run for the Great North Run, which is coming up and the Worcester City Runs, which is coming up in just over two weeks. Uh, three weeks today, actually. I hope it's not quite as warm because that is a half marathon. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. It's been really, really good fun out in Solly Hall today, or Solly Hall if you're posh. And yeah, it's just been really, really good fun. Loads of people come up and said hello who have watched the channel. So hello to you guys. And yeah, just general, just generally had a good time. And that's what it's all about doing these races. So on that note, I will say goodbye. I will see you on the next week of training, which is week seven. 
So if you're just watching this channel for the first time, then do consider subscribing and watch the rest of my Amsterdam marathon journey. But as for now, I will say goodbye and I will see you on the next one. Ta-da!